the uh, Muslim immigrants who have settled in France, have they brought racism against uh, Jewish people into the society? Yes, I could say that uh, all uh, the uh, killing of Jews in France these last few years, and you had many of them, it's very sad, uh, were coming from Muslims, radicalized Muslims. No killing was coming from supposed rightist anti-Semites. You still have rightist anti-Semites and uh, they want to take advantage of the Yellow Vest movement right now. Uh, w when they see a camera, they try to go in front of the camera to say, we are anti-Semites, you have to be anti-Semite. But uh, they are a very tiny minority. Almost all the problems created by anti-Semitism in France are coming from Muslims and it must be said. So uh, the potential for Muslim immigration into North America, is it benign? Is it uh, uh, safe for Jews and, and, and Christian Americans? Uh, I think that uh, if you have only a tiny minority of Muslims in the country, uh, they can integrate and create less problems. But when you start to have uh, many Muslims, uh, I think that you will have what we have in Europe, what we have in France, uh, because they are together and uh, they want to implant Islam where they are and they bring with them anti-Semitism. It will be the result every time. The French politicians claim that uh, they're on the side, they're against anti-Semitism, uh, and, and that, uh, uh, that there's no threat from their policies. What's the reality? Uh, no, they practice uh, self-inflicted uh, blindness. Uh, they uh, speak about uh, rightist anti-Semitism, but they never speak about Muslim anti-Semitism because they are scared, they don't want riots. Politicians are like policemen. They don't want riots in the streets. So they say we have no problems with Muslims. They act as dhimmi. Uh, what is dhimmi an Arabic word? Uh, yes, dhimmi means second class citizen and it's uh, the status given to uh, people who are Jews or Christians in Muslim countries. Uh, so a number of French Jews or Jewish Frenchmen who have been in France for centuries have moved to Israel. Have you uh, encountered them? What's their perspective? Uh, yes, uh, all the Jews who can leave France, leave France right now. Uh, you had 500,000 Jews in France 10 years ago, now you have only 400,000. Those who don't leave uh, the country are people who are too poor uh, to leave the country. And alas, you have uh, poor Jews and uh, these people cannot leave. But you have uh, people who uh, move from one part of France, from some suburbs of Paris, to other suburbs of Paris uh, because they fear for their life where they used to live. And so uh, they prefer to live in uh, small apartments and live nice houses uh, because they are scared. And it's a very sad situation. The situation I understand from, uh, uh, from Israel, there are French people who are not able to uh, get recognized their degrees by the Israeli uh, system, their licenses, uh, whether they be doctors or dentists. And so uh, a number of them are, are finding life difficult in Israel and are actually moving back to France. What's, what's life like back in France? Uh, I don't think that there is a large number of people who do it, but uh, some people uh, don't adapt uh, to Israel, not because of a question of diploma. Some do it, but uh, uh, the, the Israeli government is working to, to solve this problem. But many people don't adapt because in France you have a very strong welfare system and uh, in Israel you don't have the same kind of welfare system. So if you move to Israel you have to know that it's a capitalist country that you have to work and uh, that if you work hard you're successful. And Israel is a wonderful country for people who want to make it and who want to be successful. But if you want to rely on socialism uh, it's better to stay in France.